What's going on, y'all? It's Hanif Satterfield with Sobriety in Black. And on this 24th day of the Alcohol Free and Fit Challenge, I want to leave you with this piece of advice that I got from this book I'm reading here, How Successful People Grow by John C. Maxwell. And it's simply this, teach only what you believe. All right. I've had many people that I've talked to in the past and, you know, in on my road to sobriety, um, people who are asking for advice, people who, um, you know, want to walk this path or even discuss walking the path. And many times I've had people who they haven't gotten there yet and they want to discuss moderation with me. Now, I myself, because, you know, I'm coming from the perspective of alcoholism, I do not believe in moderation. Definitely not for an alcoholic. Me being an alcoholic or recovering alcoholic, I definitely don't believe in moderation. So I don't even have discussions around moderation. Um, I don't really, there's not really too much for me to say. As far as I'm concerned, if you're asking me with regards to drinking, and I'm going to let you know this, you already know that you have an issue. And my thing is, why even deal with it at all? That's not to say that if you can moderate, those who have no problem moderating or whatnot, they're, you know, I'm not casting any aspersions on them. But coming to me, expecting me to advise you to moderate, <laughs> you're wasting your time. You know, as far as I'm concerned, for people such as myself, moderation is a myth. Um, that doesn't mean that I look down upon people that moderate or anything like that. It's just if you're an alcoholic, you don't need to be drinking, Right. Um, and so that's how I look at it. And that's what I teach. And that what that allows me to do. And this is what they talked about in the book is be passionate about what I'm discussing because I'm not being a hypocrite. And you want to think about, you know, a lot of times you've heard, you know, we've heard terms like practice what you preach. Right. Um, which kind of just falls in line with this same assertion of only teaching um, what you believe. Right. Practicing what you preach. You want to avoid being a hypocrite, understanding that regardless of what you do teach or say, how you live your life is going to teach people what you truly believe. So why not have what comes out of your mouth fall in line with how you're living? I don't moderate, so I don't discuss moderation. I don't drink at all. Haven't had a drop since July 24th, um, 2011. And, you know, by the will of God, we'll never see another drop, nor try to fit it in my schedule, nor attempt to moderate, none of that. Um, and you know, you want to think about your own life and the things that you teach and talk to and others and then see if your actions are in line with what you say you believe. If you believe in healthy living, do you live healthy? Do you try to improve your health? Do you avoid unhealthy things or do you just say that you live healthy, but everything in your life doesn't reflect what you believe? Because if that is the case, then what you're saying means nothing. And what you're actually doing is what you're teaching those who are looking up to you to do. You know, you don't want to teach hypocrisy. And we've all been hypocrites at some point. And me definitely included. Okay. I'm still working on a couple things. Okay. That, that I'm working on myself. And that's what this, you know, reading this section of the book uh, also caused me to reflect on certain, certain things. You know what I'm saying? Um, like one for me, one of my issues is, you know, I cuss more than I should. You know, I'm still working on it. You know, <laughs> I try not to, but. In the average course of the day, you know, especially privately, I'll cuss like a sailor. And I try not to try to slow down, okay? But that is, uh, you know, my cross to bear per se, right? Where I'm trying to clean up and, and let, you know, the way I live my life fall in line with, you know, what I do believe, which is that you should avoid, you know, um, speaking ill and, you know, just, you know, Speaking, you should be speaking in a mature way, which is avoiding cuss words, avoid emotionally charged language that is, you know, negative. And um, I'm definitely still working on that, guys. So forgive me in advance. All right. Um, but think about that, you know, um, you know, teach only those things you believe and live those things that you believe and let your actions match your words. All right. Um, as far as for moderators, you want to find somebody that wants to teach you how to moderate, how to have one drink a day. Hey. You, you have a right to do that. Just don't come to me. You know what I'm saying? If you're ready to kick that thing 
And you want some advice on that? We can talk that all day, all right? Um, so I hope that pours in you. I hope it just gives you a little something to think about, all right? For you, we're 24 days in, less than 10 days before we're done. You know what I'm saying? So let's end this challenge on a strong note, on a hard note. You know what I'm saying? Let's go hard, strive towards your goals. I'm proud of all of you guys that I've spoken to, whether you've had issues or whether you've been consistent. Either way it goes, if you're still here and you're still a part of the challenge, I want to let you know that I'm very proud of you and that you should, more importantly, you should be proud of yourself. All right. So I hope that pours into you. I hope it gives you something to think about. And until tomorrow, peace.